hello and welcome to my channel and today I thought I'd do something a little different I thought I just wanted to sit down and talk with you share some thoughts with you um, words of encouragement just some idiosyncrasies that I have and thoughts that I have um, and oh and a recipe I have a recipe um, today's snack is brought to you by me and it is my deviled eggs I'm sorry but I make the best deviled eggs ever they're sliding oh they're skinny skinny um I'm gonna give you the recipe for these um and <laughs> and our other snack today is is chicken chicken and a biscuit <laughs> It's, um, they're probably really bad for you. Let me look at the ingredients. Uh, starch and lard. Yeah, they're not good for you, but they're so delicious and they pair well with deviled, pair well with deviled eggs. So let's get started. So oh, most people do the mayonnaise and the, a little bit of mustard. You have to do equal parts, maybe even a little heavier on the yellow mustard. Then what I like to do is I like to take an olive um, with the um, the red thing in the middle, the pimento, um, little cocktail olives, not the big ones, and cut them in half and then you put them on top of the egg yolk that you've mixed thoroughly and dropped in on each egg opening and <laughs> then you're going to dip a knife in the uh, olive juice and drizzle it on top of each egg then you're going to go and you're going to sprinkle dill weed and then you're going to sprinkle paprika and I'm telling you these things, every time I brought these to a party or served them, everyone says these are the best deviled eggs they've ever had. Mmm. So good. Let me get my coordinating napkin. Okay. A perfect pairing for these. If you have the munchies and you don't have company, Oh, I guess you could put them in a bowl. Alright. Chicken in a biscuit. Oh my god. These things are so good. Try one. Have you had these before? He's never had them. Mm-hmm. They're so good. Okay. I'm storing my food and my cheek to fear of choking I don't know but I also like to chew my food till it's thoroughly dissolved <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right. So, what do we want to talk about today? Let's talk about how important it is. First of all, let's start off with like a little motivational thing. Um, one of the things that I've I strive to do is to surround myself with positive people. 
and have positive energy in my life. And I, I can't stress how important this is. Um, it, it is so easy to become negative. It is so easy to go to the dark place. And it actually takes work, just like exercising takes work. Um, it takes 30 days to create a bad habit and it takes 30 days to break one. So next time you your mind starts going negative, what I like to do is I like to um, immediately think of something positive or find the positive in it. Um, with friends and family, I, I am really adamant about having positivity around me. Um, my mom can get down sometimes and I always tell her, I'm like, mom, I can do anything, anything. Um, but I can't do negativity. So I'm always kind of giving her pep talks, but, um, it just takes work. And the more that you do it, the more natural that it comes to you, um, to be positive. And when you're with somebody that's negative and constantly complaining, um, you know, you can point it out to them or say something, but you know, oftentimes people don't change and life is too damn short. So you kind of have to just be like, you know what, this is negative in my life and find positive people and don't settle because when you close one door, another one will open. Oh boy, this is the cliche show. I'm just full of cliches. Um, but that's my little motivational talk uh, about being positive. Um, I love food. <laughs> I like all kinds of food. I like fast food. I like... I like good food. I like really good food. I like uh, Denny's. I like all food. I just, I love food. And um, what are your favorite foods? So uh, my mom is, on the 25th is going to be 99 years old. I can't believe it. Um, and we actually had a party for her on the 16th because that was the only day that her nephew could come and that was the most important guest for her. Um, so he came and she had a wonderful time. Uh, our The food was wonderful. We had Mexican food. I was going to have it catered but our housekeeper Martha who's like family to us she said that she wanted to cook and uh, for my mom it was wonderful and the food was amazing, and um, my mom had such a lovely time, so y'all can um, send her some birthday love, um, she loves to hear the comments on my Facebook page, I'm up to like, oh my gosh, I'm up to like 83 comments, I think, um, happy birthday comments, and she just loves them, they mean so much to her, uh, ask grandma segment, uh, will be coming up again because I want to do that monthly. So if you have any questions for her, um, please enter them in the comments below. And while we're at it, hit the like button, please, if you enjoy um, my channel. And also, please subscribe to my channel. As a new uh, YouTuber, it means a lot to me and helps me achieve my goals. So... Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, so much is, um, you know, I can't believe how busy life can be uh, taking care of an elderly person and, um, you know, just to trying to do the YouTube channel and trying to do a client here and there. And I, I swear, I have no time. And it's it's so frustrating. And um, I don't know if I shared this with you before, but I suffer from major, major anxiety and PTSD. And I am, um, I'm medicated. <laughs> I'm medicated for it. I take medication for it. And um, medication is a wonderful thing. Xanax is a wonderful thing. Um, I wish I had a drink so I could cheers to Xanax. Um, whoever invented Xanax is like the best science doctor, whatever physician. Would, who creates those things? A lab tech. 
whoever made Xanax, thank you so much. Um, but I, I take Xanax and I take a Klonopin in the, when I get up with my coffee and, and that's it. Um, if I have a, if I really have an uh, anxious day or I feel an anxiety attack coming on, which is very rare, um, it, I, I might take a half of a Xanax, but that, again, it's very rare, but that just carries me through the day. Most people run here. I run here. So like if you took the Xanax and the Klonopin, you'd be like here. You'd be like higher than a kite. But what it does for me is it just allows me to be here so that I can, you know, have function and have one thought at a time and process one thought at a time. Um, but this is, you know, it's a thing and uh, it's a, it's a, I guess it's a mental illness and you know, all these mental illness awareness things, you know, it's true. People, you look at people on the outside and you think that, you know, oh, their life might be perfect or, oh, they're, you know, they're just so happy. I want to punch them in the face, you, you know, but you'd be surprised. Always ask yourself what this person could be going through. You never know. And sometimes all it takes is just a smile or a hi or compliment something that you like on them, like your the, some, their sweater or their hair color or their lipstick color. Um, but those that little tiny comment to that one person might mean the world to them and make a huge difference to them. I'll tell you a story. I am, um, I'm not shy to go out by myself. And if I don't have a girlfriend or a guy friend to like tag along and, and meet for a drink, I have no problem going by myself. Um, I like to go to Fleming's, which is like a really high end, uh, steak restaurant and bar. And I know the there's lots of regulars that go there and I guess I'm a regular I know the bartender so you know it's kind of like a cheers bar and for those of you that are younger cheers was a sitcom that we had and it was about a bar with Sam and Diane and anyways it was uh centered around a bar and the song was you want to go where everyone knows your name I cannot sing I can sing some things but maybe I'll sing in a minute. Um, but so I know the bartenders, but I was sitting at the bar and it was an off night and there was really nobody that I knew there. And I, um, there was a group of gentlemen to my right and we struck up a conversation and then they all went and sat down for dinner. So I was by myself. Then to my left, there were two girls that were together. And then next to them were two girls that were together. Well, the girl that was next to me at the bar had her back like this to me. And I'm a talker. Like, if, if you give me an opening, I'll, I'll make friends. And I'll chat you up. And, and we'll have a good time. But this girl just, like... By the way, proper etiquette, side note, side tracking. When you go to a bar with two friends or you're sitting in between two people, it is proper etiquette to sit back in your bar stool so that it allows the flow of conversation between everyone and somebody doesn't feel left out. Um, so next time you're out at, at, sitting at a bar, um, make sure that you lean back if you're between people. Anyway, so this bitch had her back to me, and I couldn't I couldn't get in. Um, her and her girlfriend got up and went to the restroom, and the two next to them, I said I started started talking to them, and and I'm like, oh my gosh, and we were like clicking and hitting it off, and I I said, wow, I wish you were sitting next to me. And because these girls are like so not talkative and this one has her back and then they came back and she assumed the position with her back to me. Then one of my girlfriends came in 
And I was like, oh, thank God. And she was with a girlfriend. And she came over. We hugged, you know, air kissed. And um, she was with a girlfriend. And I said, she said something. I, I said, do you want to sit down? And she said, oh, no, we're going to sit at a table in the bar because we're going to eat something. And I said, oh. And I said, well, actually, I'm alone. And I was going to order something to eat. And um, she said, oh, oh, that, okay. And they went and sat down. And I thought, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to get sensitive because, you know, I don't know, that could have been like an old girlfriend. And they, maybe they had a lot to catch up on. And, um, but what happened was they sat down and then like two more girls came and a guy. So it was like a party kind of table and I sat there alone and I was so I kind of hurt by that like I felt you know I could never leave like a girlfriend or even an acquaintance and we're more acquaintances slash friends we see each other in the same places you no know, have similar friends but if I saw a girl sitting by herself at the bar and I had a group of people, I would never leave them alone. I would have gone over and said, hey, come, you want to join us? I was um, actually stalling time because I was going to Yard House to meet my dear friend. Um, actually, two dear friends. And um, so I, I finished what I was doing. I ate my meal by myself at the bar, and it just, I don't know if it's that time of year, but I was so emotional. And I went to Yard House, and I went to the restroom, and I was just feeling like so down. Anyways, this girl came out and she walked up to me and she said, you have the most beautiful hair and you're so pretty. And, and I was just like taken aback and I said, thank you so much. And I started crying and I'm like, and I told her, I said, you know what? I said, you, you know, they say some people are, are like sent to you for a reason. And I told her, I said, you know what? You were totally sent to me right now. And you have no idea, like just that comment, that compliment that you just gave me, how much I needed to hear that at this very moment. And she hugged me, this stranger. She gave me a big old bear hug. And we chatted, and she was on a date, because I asked her, I said, I'm meeting some girlfriends here if you if you want to join us. And um, she's single, and we exchanged numbers, and we said, let's get together. But that's just an example of, like, you never know what someone's going through, and how just a few words, a few kind words can, what they could mean to somebody. And especially during this time of year, because people have problems and issues. They have family members that are sick or dying or in the hospital. Maybe they take care of someone elderly, you know, and maybe they just need a little love. Um, everyone needs love and everyone needs, um, needs to just be appreciated. Um, just for a moment, again, just if it's a smile, a nod, a hi, um, a, a compliment. So keep that in mind this holiday season. I'm going to be doing a video on um, holiday gift ideas. Because, oh gosh, this time of year, it's like we just spend so much money. And it's just like, oh, I forgot about this person. I forgot about this person. I forgot about this person. And, um, 
So I'm going to take y'all, I'm going to give you some great inexpensive gift ideas. Um, and, and yeah, so that'll be coming up and lots more coming up, uh, lots more shopping videos. Um, we're going to, I'm going to be doing a fashion intervention video soon where I'm, uh, I'm going to find someone and again, I'm going to, um, give them kind of like a makeover and I'll, I'll buy the clothes and, uh, I'll bring probably a makeup kit so I can glam them up a little bit and we can do like a little before and after. I think that would be really, really fun. Kind of like a Stacey and Clinton, um, what not to wear. Oh, love that show so much. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And, um, Tuesday I'm going to be putting up the tree and I'm going to decorate, uh, cause I want to start early. I don't want to wait till after Thanksgiving. I always wait till after Thanksgiving and then it's so fleeting and I love the pretty lights and, um, and my mom loves it too. So, so yeah, that's about it. So you got a recipe, you got a a uh, cracker recommendation that will probably harden your arteries. And um, I got a little cry. I got some things off my chest and uh, hopefully gave you some motivation. I'm okay. It's just, um, it's been really busy with the mom, my mom's party and the, the foreboding holidays, dysfunctional family, all of it. Anyways, for those of you who are here and supporting me, um, and my friends, oh my gosh, my friends on Facebook, they're sharing my links. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really, really can thank you enough and I appreciate it. And again, this is something that I can do from home when I'm not vlogging and, uh, my mom's downstairs, so I'm here for her. So this uh, YouTube channel is something that I've always, that I wanted to do and I love doing, I enjoy doing it. And I just have to be patient. I know it takes so much time to build subscribers. Oh, I'm not a patient person, so it's hard. But to those of you who have subscribed and are watching me and are leaving comments and likes and recommending me. I just, I love you so much. Truly, truly, truly. Mwah. Have a wonderful and blessed week, day, evening, afternoon, whatever time it may be. Um, bye. Thanks again. Okay. We're going to relax. Positive energy in through the nose. Negative energy out through the mouth. Mama say, Mama sa, Makusa. Mama say, Mama sa, Makusa. Mama say, Mama sa, Maka. Woohoo! I have to stop crying, my gosh. Pull it together, Lindsay. Pull it together. <laughs> okay.